Thanks for tuning in to PR's Realm. Today I'm going to do another What's Inside video. What you're looking at right now is the Motorola Surfboard SBV5222. This is an old modem so it's not really of use anymore. That's why I'm going to open it up, check out what's inside, so I can share it with you. Before I begin, I took out some of the tools that I may need. These right here, they're called Allen keys. Beforehand, I cheated. I took out the correct Allen key, which this modem needs to be opened. I took a wire cutter, because inside this most likely going to be some wires I might snip, pliers, screwdriver with various heads, Phillips and flat, there's a box cutter just in case I need that, tape measure if I want to measure anything, and then these are my most technical tools, my mallet, the black head, and the silver head, my hammer. If I can't open it any other way, I just break it open. Lastly, the most important thing, especially when using the hammer or the mallet, are my safety goggles. Safety is always important. I'm going to begin in the back. As you see here, there are several screws. One, two, three, four. And if I find any more, I'll take those off too. And then we'll move on from there. And then we'll move on from there. The rule is whenever taking off screws, opening something up, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So since I'm taking it off, I'm going to be going to the left. But you need this Allen key, which I pointed out earlier. All right, so I've been working at it for a while. And during that period of time, I was only able to get out one screw. Unfortunately, and I think they did this on purpose. They made it so that the Allen key fits into this one screw right here. However, these other screws, while they seem similar, it just keeps spinning. One of them in particular has a little warning. If you were to open it, you void the warranty, but this is outdated, so it's unnecessary. I tried a few other things over here. If you can see it says open, this is where the battery would go. The battery's not there. And if you look right in here, this is where one of the screws go. So I tried many ways of trying to twist it from the inside. I tried using various little screwdrivers, as you see out here. Pretty much everything I tried was a fail. So I'll take off the one piece that I can, take out the screw that I can, now it's time for some technical work. You see these two? Talked about in the beginning of the video. We're going to use these technical tools. First things first. Safety goggles. I'm going to put them on. Alright, this is taking a little bit long, but I'm going to do a little more whacking in certain places. Right here. See this? Actually, this is a sticker. So hopefully, if I take this off, there'll be more places to whack. Well, there's a little place right here. Let's, try that. Let's move along. This is a really strong motor. I think I should get paid by Motorola for demonstrating the strength of their modems. So, if you want a strong modem, I suggest a Motorola. Alright guys, so far it's been an all-around fail. So, I'm going to move on to the next technical tool, a knife. And a stove, where, if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm going to make this a hot knife. So I'm going to heat it up, get it red hot, and when it's hot enough, I'm going to take it 
through the areas that I want to slice off, such as these parts, maybe a little more here, a little more where the metal is. I found another screw here, but just like the others, they make it nearly impossible to take out. And all we want to do is get inside this puppy. So, one way or another, we're going to see what's inside this. With that being said, do not copy what I do. I do not recommend, and I do not tell anyone that they should do as I do. Do what you want to do at your own risk. Children, ask your parents' permission for anything you want to do. With that being said, let's check out the knife. See if that's hot enough. Let's get it directly on the floor. Alright, this is pretty hot. Let's start up here. Slice right through. You see how that slices through so beautifully like a piece of butter? Yeah, it stinks too. I'm going to have to open the window. But it's a very bad odor. I'm sure some of you have smelled burning plastic before. So. I'm going to try to slice through as much as I can before I have to reheat it. Alright, let's get this back on the flame. And I'm going to stop it for now. And I'll get back to you when I've sliced through the entire thing. Let me just open my window for some ventilation. Alright, so you see some of the progress I'm getting through. What I'm going to do is try to cut these out, see if I can make some leeway cut some of these out. See if I can get inside like that. Then I'll get back to you. Alright, so I burn these out. So I'm going to try to pop them off. What I'm going to do afterwards, after I open these parts up, I'm going to try to burn around the little screws that they use, which the Allen key should have opened, but these companies don't like their stuff open, so they like to use special products. And again, do not do this on your own. Do not copy what I do. This is solely for my own entertainment purposes, and it is not recommended for anyone. So as you see, I've gotten down to the inside of the modem. However, this is just one side. There's a few more screws that are pretty nicely welded in. So I'm going to use the same process, burn around them so I can separate both sides. Okay, so this is the other side. And as I'm opening it, some other pieces are coming out show you certain pieces but as you see right here this I'm going to be able to get off now as well and the screws which were nearly impossible to get out they're holding down some pieces but now that they're exposed I'm going to take my pliers twist them out it down to the final layer. Just going to show you pieces inside. I didn't want to take off this final piece until I could show you. So you see this is actually the piece where the cable connection would go in. This is the reverse side of the housing unit where all the technical pieces are connected. This is the other side. I've used quite a few times for this video. So I'm going to cut it at this. Now you know what's inside. Motorola Surfboard SPV 5222. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for tuning in to PR's Realm. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, leave your comments, thoughts, questions, ideas. And share this video on my channel with your friends. PR's Realm. www.youtube.com slash P-R-S-R-E-A-L-M.